How can you get people to do things that they don't have to do? How can you get people to do things that they don't want to do? Well, there's an art to it, but there's also a science. So we're going to be talking about the sorts of techniques that are effective at getting other people to do things. Now, you might take these techniques and use them for your own evil purposes, but hopefully the main benefit that you'll get is that you'll be more able to defend yourself against other people who are trying to influence you. This might help you to avoid getting ripped off and taken advantage of. If you can master the science of social influence, it has a huge number of benefits in a range of domains. Towards the end of this topic, we'll talk about a more sinister form of influence and how very normal and nice, decent people can do really horrible, cruel and abusive things.